The three E's in Triple E were P.W. Enns and his two son-in-laws, Peter Elias and Philip Enns. Well, my name is Philip Enns. It's Enns with one N. It's important that there was two families involved, two Enns families, one with E-N-S and one with E-double-N-S. And uh, I married an Enns with E-double-N-S. I was born and raised on a farm. And after high school, I thought I'd be a music teacher. My father-in-law, who was a businessman, but not a manufacturer, he needed assistance. P.W. Enns, with two Enns, owned a plumbing and heating business in Winkler. His wife was ill, and the doctor recommended spending time in a warmer climate. He says, go off the farm and go and do some traveling and so on, go south and so on. But we didn't have that stuff, you know. <laughs> But uh, that's how we tried, you know. We traveled with the Volkswagen. Later on, we made a, a, a wooden box, you know, what we call a trailer, and we traveled and did the voluntary work when we an ended up in uh, Alcott, Indiana. And that's where the whole idea started. PWNs came back to Manitoba determined to manufacture travel trailers, but he knew he couldn't do it alone. So he enlisted the help of his two son-in-laws. I had to make a career choice either to pursue my music career and, and go to school, or else quit and go work for him, which I did, which I'm, I'm pleased I did. It's been a wonderful ride. The three men started with lots of energy and enthusiasm, and not much else. Well, you know, I had no experience. We poured every penny to start this. These guys that had nothing. We had no visions except for one thing, we needed jobs, we needed to support growing families, we needed to put bread on the table, we needed to satisfy the banker, keep him at bay. So we started building about December of 1965, when in fact we started up. And uh, we had visions of building 50 trailers. We had a lot of snow in, in the spring of 66, we had 50 little trailers parked on snow banks all over, the, all over our lot here. And uh, we were a bit, a bit concerned whether they would, would sell. We ended up uh, selling those, those trailers and we built another um, 47. So we built 97 small 13-foot trailers in the first year. They were all sold in this summer of 66. Then the following year, with Expo being uh, hosted by the city of Montreal in 1967, and because of the scarcity of rooms, uh, the little trailers that we built were, uh, were the, the solution to a lot of people's you know, sleeping problems. And so we built 327 trailers the following year. After that, you know, it, it just kept on growing as we were, became better known. And so we added the motorhome division in 1970. This, a whole new market was established with the advent of, of the motorized units. At that time, there were approximately 28 Canadian manufacturers. Today, there are less than half that number. There's a tradition of generosity at Triple E going back to the early days. A willingness to help out, especially during the hard times, as the employees proved in 1972 when fire destroyed the whole factory. The prospect of rebuilding from the ground up was a huge task. We were just burned right to the ground. It was the employee group that, that uh, invited us to come to a meeting and encouraged us to build again. And if we built a plant, they would give their labor for free to build a building. That was a very, uh, very meaningful uh, you know, gesture on the, on the part of the employees. Forty years later, our company has grown from from uh, eight people to 600 plus.